Speak English. Speak Japanese. Show an interest in Japanese culture. Personal grooming. Chivalry. Be sincere. Hey guys. <laughs> Hey guys and girls, on Ask Japanese, it's Kathy Cat. Today we have compiled six things that will make you popular with Japanese girls. Out of all our street interviews, we compiled some of the most popular responses, and we're gonna find out today. Number six, speak English. I don't know why, but actually the ability to speak English seems to be fairly popular with Japanese girls, even if you are a native English speaker. So if you speak English and speak it with confidence, the girls like it. So, maybe you might want to work a little bit more on your English skills before you come to Japan. Number five, speak Japanese. Many girls we interviewed raised a concern that they might not be able to communicate with people from abroad. So they would like to chat with you guys, but they can't because their English skills are not high enough. So even though they admire people who can speak English, many of them can't speak English. So if you actually are able to communicate in Japanese, with a Japanese girl, she'll definitely appreciate it. And that will make it much easier for you guys to actually maybe go on a date and similar things like that. So work on your Japanese skills. Japanese or being able to speak the language of the country you're going to anywhere will open you doors. So pick up those Japanese books. Four, show an interest in Japanese culture. If you come here to Japan, it might be taken for granted, but it's not for granted for many people. If you come to Japan, show an honest interest in Japanese culture. There are a couple of people who just come here for holidays and they don't actually know much about Japanese culture. So even if you don't know much, be honest, show an interest, because people will feel flattered and happy if you ask them about their culture. This applies for girls and other cultures too. So be sure to actually have an honest interest in Japanese culture so they can also show you more, teach you more, show you, bring you to places. All of those things. When we interviewed girls in Japan, they said we would like to show them around, you know, Tokyo's or Japan's best spots. And if you win honest interest, can actually follow them around and see nice places. I think you're on the right track. Personal grooming. Seiketsukan is a word that Japanese girls have used a lot in our interviews and it's kind of a general cleansy manner. Seiketsukan, for example, is the way you dress, how often you shower and also how you trim your beard. Now in Japan, many Japanese girls actually said a beard is an absolute no-go in a relationship. However, some Japanese girls said if a foreigner has a beard that suits him, it's in a well-groomed beard, that's okay. However, they usually mean the short Hollywood actor beard that they're talking about. If you have have a big bushy beard hipster style that's an absolute no-go in Japan I have never seen a Japanese man with a beard like that so you might have to trim that bushy bushy beard away in case you really want to have a Japanese girlfriend it doesn't impress the girls here I'm afraid sorry guys but not only the beard is general grooming. In Japan, people don't smell. It's amazing. I don't know how they do it, but they don't smell. So if you come from a different country to Japan, be sure to bring a deodorant from your country that you know works on your skin. Japanese deodorants generally don't seem to work on some other people. Guy friends and girlfriends of my friends have told me the same thing. Somehow Japanese deodorants do not work on a smelly foreigner. So bring your own deodorant because you don't want to be the smelly foreigner on the train. Also in the same note, don't put too much smell on just because you showered yourself in smell doesn't mean that you don't smell underneath so have a proper deodorant and a, a subtle cologne maybe or maybe no cologne at all just don't smell I don't know how Japanese people do it they don't smell so you don't want to be the smelly person I knew a foreigner who was fairly unpopular in his company because he just smelled really strong and it, it stands out. It stands out in the train, it stands out in the office because everything is cramped and very, very small. So smell is actually a big issue for Japanese girls. So don't smell, grim probably, daily showers and shave that beard. Number two, chivalry. Gentleman is the word that we hear the most when Japanese girls talk about an ideal foreign guy. In Japan, Japanese men tend to not be as much of a gentleman, I guess. You know, hoping, holding open doors and similar things like that isn't really a thing, unless like the person is walking behind you, but actually going over, pulling out a chair for the lady, that stuff doesn't happen in Japan and Japanese girls love it. We had so many Japanese girls who said, we wish we had a gentleman boyfriend, but it doesn't happen here in Japan. 
So this is your chance to actually show them that you can be like that and actually shine out at that. So that is one of the biggest issues and one of the biggest things that girls have mentioned to us all the time. I would like to have a gentleman. So maybe brush up your chivalry skills. Thank you. Here you go. The director is being a real gentleman right now, getting me a drink. Stuff like that makes a girl's heart beat faster. So that's one of the things you might want to do. Think of the other person first. If she looks cold, give her your coat or just make sure you go inside so you can warm up. If she looks thirsty, if you think you've already been all the day out and she might be thirsty, go buy her a drink like just now. That was a very good example. Nice timing there. Stuff like that will actually make a girl feel very, very appreciated. So, you know, think of her as your little princess and treat her well and she'll definitely appreciate that. Number one, be sincere. With being sincere, I mean one thing. Japanese people do not take dating that likely so if you come from a country where dating is like a hey hey a good hello goodbye thing that's your culture but in japan i've met many many girls and also boys who are very very serious about the partner they're dating so for example one of my friends said she wished she just wanted to be with one guy for all of her life it's the ideal goal you meet one guy and that's the guy you end up marrying many girls will actually date people with the idea of marriage in mind. So it might be a little bit heavy for people who used to kind of easier relationships, but many Japanese girls are actually thinking already ahead of the future when they pick a partner to date. So if you go and you start dating a Japanese girl, be honest, be sincere, and actually think about a future that you guys could have together. I know you might not be prepared for that straight away, but many girls do that. So it's a cultural part that you should consider so if you date a Japanese girl, treat her with care, treat her with respect and also think of a future together that you might want to have. And hey, if you talk about that, it will definitely get you some bonus points too. So these are things that will make you popular with Japanese girls that we kind of filtered out from the many, many street interviews we have taken. If you're curious to find out more about dating here in Japan, be sure to subscribe to us because we do quite a lot of videos on dating and love and relationships here in Japan. So be sure to subscribe. If you've been with us or you just enjoyed this video, don't forget to push the like button as well. It makes a big change for us here as YouTubers and I'd really appreciate that too. Thank you. That's it from Japan today. I hope I catch you soon for more videos here from Japan going out to you on Ask Japanese. Bye!